Everybody, the usual, uh, well, maybe this isn't the usual Sunday night service because this is right before Christmas, or Sunday before Christmas. Hi, Louie. It's good to see you. And I'll tell you what, I'm so happy to be here. I was in church this morning and uh, heard a great sermon, <clears throat> and I told my, uh, my pastor how glad I was to be in church so I could hear about Jesus because uh, this is the time when we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I don't know whether you guys know it, but there's actually another celebration going on out there, and it doesn't have much to do with Jesus. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if you go out there and you drive around or you watch, there's a lot of celebrating about a whole bunch of stuff that have nothing to do with Jesus. So you can get sort of lost in that deal trying to figure out what this is all about. But uh, it's good for me to get into a place where people are talking about Jesus Christ and the miracle of his birth. And uh, the wonderful, wonderful grace that we're now and uh, that we're that's bestowed upon us if we want to if we want to make Him our Lord and Savior. And so I'm just so glad to be here with Pastor Kara. We have some great, you know, we have some great Christmas uh, hymns, and we're going to start off with the first one is uh, "Angels from the Realms of Glory." Where's my backup singers? Thank you. 
And now we have prayer requests. I was at a wedding last night for two darling people. It's a beautiful wedding. And uh, it was for Tony and Rosie. And so I want to, I'm going to be saying a prayer for them and their marriage. And uh, also for my wife, you don't mind, my wife, and uh, she just lost her mother, 104 years old, Panchita. Uh, and uh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, she's with the Lord now. So it's good for her. But uh, in any event, <clears throat> anybody else have any prayer requests? Yes, prayers for uh, my wife, Yvette. This is her first Christmas without her mom. And uh, she knows where her mom is. She knows her mom's in, in Jesus' arms, in the Lord's arms. and But she's still sad. Yep. So it's that sadness. Yep. Okay, absolutely. Who else? Pray for it. I'm going to pray for the troops and for our country. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and our government and I pray that uh, we this government gets aligned with the values mm -hmm. of uh, Jesus Christ Amen. you know that are expressed in the Holy Bible you know that there's uh, you know we have to get this country back on track yep. a revival a massive revival worldwide mm -hmm. praying for that praying for that <clears throat> we, uh, our pastor preached on Jeremiah this morning, you know, about the uh, northern and southern kingdom, you know, when they yep. split up and they got dispersed because of, uh, you might as well have been preaching, Jeremiah but might as well have been writing about what's going on today, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. History repeats itself. History repeats itself, exactly. Yep. Okay, well, in any event, I'm praying for that. Yes. Yes, I want to pray for all families and children to get together in this Christmas and to find Jesus in their lives. Okay. And also for a friend, a relative, his name is Beto, that he's going to have a... Beto? Beto, yes. He's going to have a cardiac, a heart intervention on the 26th. Okay, absolutely. <clears throat> Anybody else? Okay, well, uh, I'm going to pray for all our children and grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And uh, so let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord Jesus, <coughs> pray for, uh, of course, you know the prayers that are in our hearts, the unspoken prayers. Pray for Yvette and Dickie, my wife, and they've lost their their uh, uh, parent, their mothers, and uh, it's a difficult time. It's the first uh, time that they're going to be spending Christmas without... <clears throat> the matriarchs of the family, and we pray for them that they're able to do that. We know that they're in the heaven with you. Area we're believers. We pray for our country and yes. the troops and our government and everybody in our government, no matter what their party affiliation is. We pray for uh, all families, the families that get reconciled. We've got a lot of families that are split yes. up and that they get reconciled. We pray for those addicts and alcoholics and. <clears throat> People going through difficult times, you know, this is one of those times of the year where I know that, like our pastor said this morning, we have a song that says it's the hap happiest time of the year, but that's not true for everybody. Yes. For some people, this is a very, very tough period of time. It's also a time where there's a, there could be a great harvest. I came to the Lord on December 25th, 1980, you know, because I was uh, brought low. So this is a great time uh, workers are few, great time for people to come to Jesus. Uh, and I pray that they, if there are any people in distress and they want to change their life around, they will consider Amen. getting on their knees and saying the uh, sinner's prayer and coming to Jesus Christ. It's as simple as that. Just invite them into your life, and we're going to have something on that in our invitation at the end of the, uh, of, of the service today. Pray for Beto, and who's having a cardiac problem. But we have a lot of people that are having health problems. And we pray for those people that are going through difficult times and health problems. There are people going through difficult financial problems. We pray for those people. We pray, mm -hmm. pray for those people. Pray for the churches and the pastors in this area. Yes, Lord, you amen. Know, all the pastors and that are that are ministering to people, you know. And we pray for the people. We know we have people that are in other countries, Indonesia, and they have prayer requests. We pray for all those prayer requests and the people in those countries. 
We, and we, we, we also give praise and we're so grateful for Jesus' finished work on the cross. Amen. For uh, Father God who sent Jesus to us and came here in, in human form so that we could have an actual direct relationship with Jesus Christ always. Who would never leave us and be in our hearts and our minds that we can always turn to. Incredible. What an incredible, incredible gift. And not because we deserve it, only because out of his grace, because he loved us. We thank him for all that. We pray for all that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. Great. Next song is Hark the Herald Angels Sing. so we don't feel as familiar with it. Okay. Hi, Jesse. Okay, now... Uh, uh, You've heard of back row Baptist. Yeah, well, he's, he's a, a front, front row, row Baptist. Yeah, he's a front row. You know, I sit in the front row in the pew of church in the morning, and he sits immediately behind me. He's got my back. He's immediately behind me. <laughs> you heard the Human old preacher John say, he's under the spout where the glory comes out. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> But uh, he's a good man. I got here late. Your back's all filled up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I think where I'm, I always get this mixed up is this greeting time. Thank you. Thank you, voice from the back, prompting me. So let's all meet and greet our neighbor and give him a, a hug and a godly kiss. And you want to be real formal around right here. Okay. We don't... Merry Christmas, preacher. Merry Christmas to you, Hey, buddy. Yeah, you know what he looked like? He was going to be a church. He had a big chunk in the back of the He came into church and carried that chunk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, was that, Oklahoma? Yeah, it was in Missouri. Oh, Missouri. Down where? Hi. 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 Hi.
We sing first, okay. We sing first and then the collection. So we're going to sing 96, Good Christian Men Rejoice. And the women can rejoice too with the men. You know, I don't want to get into any problem, you know. I mean, I have enough problems on Facebook already, you know. I just, you know good Christian people rejoice, you know. And uh, what? Christian friends rejoice. Good Christian friends. That's the word. Friends? We need to have prayer. Russell feels persecuted on Facebook. Oh, boy, I'll tell you. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm holding up under the pressure, though. I'm saying said fast. Let me tell you. Good Christmas. Uh, listen. I'm praying for everybody. Christian, you have a relationship with Jesus. 
unbelievable, marvelous, incredible. And uh, a relationship, building your house on the rock, never leave you. We'll never leave you. And we want to pray for these tithes and these offerings that they're used efficiently. We know they will be, and they're used to carry the gospel message all over the world. And we thank you, Jesus, for your finished work on the cross. We thank you for this. In your blessed Son's name, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. It's just to have a straight two hours of just singing Christmas carols and Christmas hymns. It's right. be one, but wonderful. But we have a good one here. It came upon a midnight clear. 93 in your hymn and all. 93. Yeah. Hi, Joe. Hi, Marina. How are you? Good to see you.
about that. So, hey, listen, we have a song now. Most of you have it. It's, uh, it's marked zero on the board because it's not in the hymnal. Oh, holy night. Hard to believe it's not in the hymnal, but it's not. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error binding, till he appeared. Oh!
went too fast. <laughs> oh boy. We're just getting warmed up. Okay, well now we have That's true. our message from Pastor Carrie Miller. But Dr. Lee used to say we're just idling our motors. We just warmed them up for we you. We haven't Pastor. gotten warmed up good yet. Yeah. Okay. Pastor Carrie Miller. 